All right, this is part two. Um, to be honest, I think I spent too much time fluffing around looking for sounds. Uh, I'm not feeling very inspired, but let's just try and finish it. something there. So I've gone with a B minor seven chord there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end it before the bass moves down to the, to the A. And then when I'm changing between the B and the A, the A has to be a major. That's cool. That's like a major sixth. See how that works. So I started playing minor stuff there. Let's just do another run. Alright, 
so there's something there. I'm gonna do a, well, I was gonna do a second guitar part, but maybe one's enough actually. every four bars and this one might even put it there extend it out to be four bars long unmute it loop that have it drop out in the section that's different not four bars. Is it? One, two, three, four. Drop it out there. Copy this guy. Bring him back in here. But this guy, bring him back in here. Ah, I forgot about my horns. Bring them in here. Bring him back in towards the end of the song. I also had some claps. Uh, we might have to do it in this one. There's some cool claps going on. Okay. We're going to mute everything. And the claps we're going to unmute. that through to the end of the song. All right, let's see how it sounds. is just not I'm not loving it so it's gonna leave it at the start shorten that a little bit That works better.
it's the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the track finishes at a point. Where if you loop the song over and over, it'll just start up again. It's not my best work. There's something here. Alright, so there's a little few issues happening in the bass playing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bounce it in place. Uh, I don't want that. Bypass the effects and I want to mute the source. All right, so in the interest of being quick, because I have lost motivation, going to quantize it. It's quarter notes, quantize strength down to 70. See if that fixes up my playing. This one. Bass is better now, the tone's not very good. Alright, so this guitar's really annoying me. Let's add a little bit of reverb to it, or maybe change the sound. Reverb 
reverb in the plugin. Where's my reverbs? Whoops, that's tremolo. Add a spring at the end. I'm going to try some vocally type things on here. Let's see how it goes. So the input of this mic should be... ...15. Four of them. Try something. <laughs> All right, that's one idea. Next idea. Alright, 
there's some stuff in there. So let's let's get this bacon. So with this first round, using my marquee tool, I'm gonna chop it, chop the start off, chop it every two bars. That there. Copy it four times. All right. Give me another eight vocal tracks. Okay, the second section. One and two. They were the high ones, three and four were the low ones, theoretically. down there, how's this sound? Turn left, hard left, hard right, soft left, soft right. Something in that, but it's a bit much at the start. Maybe we'll try putting this vocal in. Try and build it up a bit. Bring that one back in. Put some of these in. <clears throat> so these ones because these are all different takes so we'll fill it up more unmute that we'll have to clean these up
Try that one, see what's on there. Try one a few takes before that. So that's given me an idea to do an ad lib. I might just clean this up real quick. Expand this so I can see the waveform. Okay, so that's what's happened. Is that the front of these have been clipped, but that's okay for what we're doing. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, that's that in-between stuff. These we don't want either. Head down here. That's when I was searching for the notes. Get rid of that. <coughs> all right, so that's all cleaned up now. What I'm gonna do is these first four vocals, I'm gonna put in a, gonna group them together. I want to process them together, so that's vocal percussion. So the rest of these, stick them together. And make them vocal harmonies. Now I'm going to add an ad lib track. VX ad lib. Add a bit of vibe to it. Yeah! Okay, so there's far too much in there, but might be some stuff that we can use. Good, I like that. I'm gonna let's work on that. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 to it.
sounds pan my oh, pan my doubles left and right is what I want to do so what I'll do there just add another track because we can we have no limits not too wide <laughs> So we didn't end up keeping much of it. All right. In the interest of being fast, I'm gonna just add some pitch correction. We are in the key of, let's go with B minor. It's not quite true, but for the purpose of this, it'll do. I'm going to copy that across to all my vocal harmonies individually. There we go. If anyone knows how to copy stuff to all tracks, the same settings in one hit, please let me know. So that high one is just too long. Whoop. So we'll snip it. Make it the same length. Grab our fade tool. Put some cross fades in. much more together it's still a little bit out but hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. what we'll do is we'll turn that one down a bit these ones need to come down because there's two of them so they're naturally going to be louder it's going to find the balance these together the X chord oh, we may as well chuck this one in that same group I might need to process it differently but let's see
for now. I'll use the stock logic compressor. Set up a loop. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the clipping in this. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. for now. All right, let's get rid of, let's do some EQ here. Find the part where it's really thick. Send it to my eventide just for a bit of stereoing. All right, now my classic reverb trick on group vocals with Devin Townsend. Just smudge it together. Find a nice reverb. Let's put all the vocals in a room together. Let's try Hunter. <laughs> too long but anyway let's just try that and we'll compress the heck out of it Try a plate. That's helping. So with the release time, if the release time is shorter, you'll actually get more of that reverb. Or is it the other way around? It's getting woolly, but let's just see how it sounds in context. Vocal percussion. Now let's do some processing to this. Um, trying to stick to Logic plugins just for the sake of it. Let's see. Deep club kick. Warmer. Uh, ah. 
bass booster. <coughs> cool, that's added a bit more bottom end into there. So this is just clean that up a bit. So the frequencies that were in there and you get faster at this the more you do it. <coughs> Hear that nastiness? <coughs> Don't need that. <coughs> Add a bit more of the top end to get that breath. bit stronger and now we will compress it and this is compressing to design the transient because it's it's a drum thing so I need it to hit hit hard so we will go with uh, let's try a try a classic VCA see how that works Four to one, a bit of distortion. Makes it more aggressive. really dark I'm lacking a bit of warmth I like it better without the reaper don't like those high ones as much that we can process the heck out of. Let's go to, we'll go to Slate. Go to the mix rack. I'm gonna telephone that right up. Make it really thin, pokey, bright. Bit of console saturation, cause that never hurt. Add some more saturation to it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. bit of slap delay to that.
So this is my typical revert, but I want something bigger. Try this one. Oh, that's nice. That sound. This might be my new favorite one. So the bass tone is irritating me. Let's see what else I've got. Let's try, try the THU, see if, oh yeah, it's bass in here. Bread and butter, let's see what that sounds like. Pretty good. better and compress the bass a bit um, so we might even try guitars fit bass I'm going to push some highs into the compressor because I want the compressor to behave and then I'm going to EQ again afterwards. Probably compressing a bit hard to be honest. Knocked a lot of the life out of it. Let's just see what happens with some post EQ. Bass sounds not quite right. I'm gonna try this, this one, this dark one. 
Might have to change our cues. Getting there, so this reverb, I'm gonna add a little bit of touch that to the bass. Up here where the drums are, they're also gonna get a bit of that reverb, gonna get a fair bit of that reverb. starting to struggle so I'm going to increase the buffer I'm not going to be playing anymore so there's no point to have a short or smaller buffer it may as well be big initializing 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 all right let's go all right so we're gonna have to clean up that base at the start And whilst I'm here, I'm gonna cut this and this off simply because I want the earliest thing in my session to be starting on beat two. And the reason for that is when I export it, it's gonna start exactly where I want it to. I've got these kicks in here, I don't need them. This vocal stuff is going to be a lot wider. It's got an eighth note to lay on it, but. the drums aren't quite giving me what I want. So, I want a bit more smack on the drums. For sake, 
for the sake of it, we'll just use the logic one, drums, um, drum kit, see what that does. It's getting there. I'm going to add some percussion to it. Huh. My laptop's not getting power. This could become a problem. Oh, we're going to have to work fast so I can figure this out. So, um, congas, what have we got as far as logic loops? It's not the right vibe. All right, let's forget about congas. Have we got bongos? Yep. actually going to use it. I'm just going to play something. Huh, that's interesting. I'm just going to play something in. Meet that. So far, this sounds terrible. Cool. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. The latency is just killing me. All right. About to run out of battery power, so let's move fast. Let's go back to congas. this put 
that in there. Delete this. that close that put it on put one in one speaker one far in the other speaker turn them both down quite a lot Let's see what we've got Got a mastering chain. that I'm not too happy with. Now, why did I turn the bass down the bass? Trying to, rather than boosting the highs, if I turn the bass down, then I'm not introducing noise and it'll level out those frequencies. <laughs> right. Use this mastering assistant. interesting it hasn't even correctively cued my my mix bass tone go in here the bright's too bright the dark's too dark 
So adding a little bit of that mid in. A bit more treble. <laughs> gentle roll off. song bounce it starting at bar th beat three okay so the end the exact length that I want. Cool, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe and share or head over to my Patreon page for more content. Until next time, stay creative and keep creating.